Hello, I'm Lucas, this is a bit of lit, and I would like to talk about book eight of Paradise Lost, uh, which is a chapter that's short, and uh, I'm not really a fan of it, not this chapter anyway. Um, it's a bit of a boring chapter, um, but it continues the conversation between Raphael and Adam, Eve has decided to drop out because she, she'd she rather hear from Adam than Raphael, which I think is really weird. You have this source of knowledge, this great well of... Anyway, um, we will talk about Adam and Eve and how they differ. Um, in this video because their differences are becoming more and more uh, stark uh, because in book 7 we saw uh, Raphael explain why Earth was created mostly to have uh, you know remove the stain of the war in the kingdom of heaven and replace it with something good and positive uh, that shows the way God's kingdom can expand and have something great. They can sort of merge later and have this wonderful heaven and earth thing. Um, in this book, it's Adam talking about what happened when he woke up, and Ra and Raphael explaining some things too, and uh, Adam he woke up and he saw all of paradise, and you know the Son of God came to him and explained the rules and about his dominion and the exactly one job that he has, which is to not eat from the tree of knowledge or else he will die. Um, and Adam has all these questions about all the things he sees, which he happens to have the knowledge already, but there is a limit to, to human knowledge because not only does he see, oh, what's that? tree over there. What's that dog? Uh, uh, that's being a little facetious and reductive, but um, it's kind of how it is. He, he has questions, but oh, I already know. Um, but when he looks up at the cosmos, you know, all the stars and planets and everything in the sky, he he doesn't know. He He doesn't have the tools to observe it properly. I mean, he has his eyes, he can see that there's movement, but he doesn't understand it. And, uh, that's interesting because I believe in one of the, one of the first three books, I think it's in the, I think it's in the first one. Um, and even in the last book we had, uh, a muse of astronomy, I think. Uh, which is the study of the stars, uh, um, or the planets, or whatever. Uh, anyway, the first book, Galileo is mentioned, who I believe, I didn't look this up, but I believe Galileo is a contemporary of Milton, or maybe he predates him a little, or... Uh, I I'm not exactly sure on the timeline. I don't know when Milton was alive, or Galileo, but... Um, I, I guess I should have looked this up, but, you know, the the way Paradise Lost is written, it doesn't take a side on Galileo's observations or the belief of everything revolving around Earth. Um, because, essentially, what Raphael says is that uh, some things are for God's knowledge, and, you know, sort of, it seems to me like 
scientific inquiry like that can can not necessarily does but can lead to um incorrect observations that will lead you astray from god uh, and so it's just best not to inquire and uh, now maybe i'm wrong about that I'm, I'm not saying that milton you know he doesn't really take a side which means that he he is taking a side he's taking the side of uh the church and saying ah don't, dude, just don't worry about it um but you know maybe he it's interesting that it's in there that the science of space is discussed um i think that's really cool let me know what you think of that um i don't i mean i think he's not taking a side maybe he just doesn't know for himself but he doesn't care because he cares about god and that's more important to him than what's spinning around earth or what the earth is spinning around um anyway then there's a lot of discussion oh yeah, yeah adam sees all these pairs of animals you know two elephants or two bears or two snakes or whatever uh, and he feels kind of lonely and god when adam is asleep leaves him conscious which i think is just like the perfect body horror um removes a rib to create eve in the night and uh which is something i want to talk about because the first things that we see adam uh look at in in terms of like our chronology right adam's first inquiries are what's around him and the stars but eve if you remember uh, in book four or five um maybe it was six i can't remember she looks at her reflection in a pool of or a pond which um given that she i mean i guess sin is a woman or female she's a mother given uh she is the only female representation in this book you know it says a lot <laughs> about uh milton and his view on women uh and i would like to read a long passage where do, where can i start or nature failed in me and left some part not proof enough such such object to sustain or from my side subducting took perhaps more than enough at least on her bestowed too much of ornament in outward show elaborate of inward less exact for well i understand in the prime end of nature the inferior her the inferior in the mind and inward faculties which most excel in outward also her resembling less his image who made both and less expressing the character of that dominion given o'er other creatures yet when i approach her loveliness so absolute she seems and in herself complete so well to know her own that what she wills to do or say seems wisest virtuousest discreetest best all higher knowledge in her presence falls degraded wisdom and discourse with her looses discountenanced and like folly shows authority and reason on her weight as one intended first not after made occasionally well, there's more um yeah milton's depiction of women is uh not for modern audiences i would say um my guess is that the idea is not so much that i feel like i'm just trying to make excuses but um it's not so much that women are inferior um 
men uh, intellectually and uh, you know spiritually it seems because they are women but because they were made second or Eve was made second and therefore women um, whereas Adam was the first born son so to speak and thus would have all the intellectual, emotional, whatever tools to do everything he's supposed to. Uh, I th yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is, but I mean, I think <laughs> I don't really buy what I just said. It, uh, it's just a viewpoint that does not age well, I think, personally. But maybe it's... I mean, of course, she's of the fairer sex and she's more beautiful and all that, but she doesn't quite look... She doesn't look as much like God. Uh, she's not as much in the same image because she's an image of Adam who is an image of the Son of God, who is an image of God. <laughs> um, yeah, it, I don't really know what to say. Uh, it's it's complicated, yeah? Uh, it, it just... It doesn't really feel right, uh, but it is a book, or it is a poem. Um, and that's just something that when you get to it, that you have to uh, wrangle with for yourself. I I don't buy it, but, uh, you know, that's what he wrote. And I can't change that. So, uh, anyway, then Raphael warns Adam about what's to come with Satan. And, yeah, let me know what you thought. Thank you, bye.